Hello everyone, welcome back. So this week in the evenings, I'm planning on working on our hay wagon. So I think it's about time to try to get this thing in a good working order so that we can use it uh, the next time we cut hay. So the plan would be to pull this behind the hay baler and then uh, send the bales, the, the hay bales up to the wagon where somebody could uh, be riding the wagon and they would stack the bales as we go through the field. So you wouldn't have to pick them up off the ground. They'd already be stacked here on the wagon. So it should be a lot quicker. But the wagon needs a few things. A few things uh, need attention. So on the back of the wagon, there would normally be some kind of a fence or a wall that would be on the back. And that's what you would start stacking your bales up against and it would keep them from falling off the back of the wagon. As you can see, there is nothing back here on the wagon. So we're gonna have to build it. So there is, some, there is two cutouts where, the, where there used to be one and there's some bolts, but uh, it's all missing. So we're just gonna build a whole new one. So I've got some four by four posts here that we're gonna use. And then I've got some other lumber in the barn and we're gonna see if we can build, um, you know, the little back wall or the back fence that goes on the back of this hay wagon. So the other thing that needed fixed was the front tire. So it was in bad shape when we bought it. And by the time I drove it home, it had shredded and gone flat and coming all apart. So I bought a new tire for it and I planned on changing that myself. And somebody told me, you know, an easy way to do it was to use a tractor bucket and push down on the tire and you could separate the tire from the rim. You could get the, the bead of the tire to break off of the rim. So that's probably one of the hardest things is just getting them separated from each other. So I tried that several times with the tractor bucket without any luck. I could not get it, uh, I could not get the tire free of the rim. So I finally said, forget it. And I just took it into town and I let the tire shop change it out for me. So I've got that tire back now. I've got a brand new tire on it. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that on real quick. And then we'll start uh, trying to build the back of the hay wagon here. So here on the back of the hay wagon, you can see there's a cutout here and a cutout here for the old uprights that used to be the back wall. And there's a bolt going front to back and there's another bolt down here going side to side. And that's what would have held that upright nice and firm. And you can tell by the length of these bolts that that's three and a half inches and uh, that's about one and a half inches close. So that was a two by four is what they use for the upright of two by four, not a four by four. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna go back with the exact same thing that they used to have. And I'll use two by fours for uprights. But the first thing I need to do is these bolts are really rusty and old. And uh, I'm probably just gonna cut these out of here and buy new bolts to put in here. So I ended up going to the lumber store the other day on my lunch break and I picked up um, six two by fours and hopefully that's enough to be able to make the rear fence here on the back of this trailer. And the two uprights, they should fit in here something like this. So I got to thinking, I really don't think I want to bolt these on here like it was before. I want this to be somewhat removable or easily removable where I don't have to take a bunch of bolts loose to take it off. So uh, what I've decided to do, I want to make some brackets. So we'll make some metal brackets here along the back that'll kind of hold that two by four into place. And then it'll easily be able to kind of lift off of there. It'll be similar to like a, what they call a stake pocket on a trailer or a flatbed truck where you can stick your two by fours down inside of it. So I wanna do kind of the same thing here on the back side of this hay wagon. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in the barn, see if we can make some brackets.
Okay. I'm gonna put me a nice thick washer behind this bracket. And then that's gonna make it spaced out a little bit looser. Yeah, we'll see if she fits. Oh yeah, just like I want. Perfect. Seven feet, 84 inches. So the barn that we store the hay in has a pretty short door. So I only got about 104 inches. It's eight feet, eight inches of head space or space to be able to back in the barn. So a stack of four bales high ends up being about 68 inches, which is right there. So. That's all I'm gonna fit. I got about two inches to spare. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off at 68 inches above the deck on each one of these. Well, I should have bought one more board. This, uh, this board was the only board I had in the barn. It was a two by four and it's a little bit short, but it'll work. Okay, moment of truth. I want this to be able to be removed. Well, there we go. And it does come out. And hopefully it goes back in. Funny thing is, you can't see what you're doing. Oh, now I see. It's almost a little too narrow. It wants to flex outward. There we go. All right, that'll work. It's not the most sturdiest thing, but it's removable like I want it to be. So I got the hay wagon all put together now, and there's one other thing on this hay wagon that's a little bit weird. Um, it's actually a dump trailer. There's a hydraulic cylinder that's underneath here, and I think they either call it some kind of a dump wagon or a dump hoist, and it's got one hydraulic line that'll hook to the tractor and it should tip up and dump. So I wanna test that out real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, uh, the fence on the back, I'm gonna take that off and then we'll hook up the hydraulic line and see if this thing will still, t if the tilt bed still works on it. different fitting so our hydraulic hose has a little bit of a different end on it we're gonna change that out and hopefully it's gonna work oh. well it's on there I'll give it that
can't have a job around here that doesn't get you dirty. Let's see if it'll hook up now. There we go. I got a feeling this hose isn't very good anyway. I think it's gonna leak. It may spray. Well, I think we got the old hay wagon back in pretty good shape. So we've got the uh, we've got the fence on the back of the wagon. We've replaced the front tire that was bad. And then the dump hoist, the cylinder underneath there, was able to tilt the hay wagon up and dump it no problem. In fact, it like tilted it real quick. It was uh, really surprised at how well it worked. So that is like a neat little feature. I'm not sure whether we would use that or not. Um, it could be one of those things where you could stack this full of hay and then bring it back to the barn and then just dump all the hay out the back onto the ground by the barn and then take the wagon back out to the hay field and stack it back up again. Um, that could be a possibility. I'm not sure if that would really be too helpful. Um, also thought maybe if I was out collecting firewood, I could take this out where I was cutting up a tree. I could just throw all the firewood on top of here. And then when I got to the firewood pile, I could probably just lift it up and then dump all the firewood right next to the wood splitter and uh, that could be handy maybe as well but i'm not really sure but it is a neat feature having that tilt bed so i'm sure i'll come up with some way i can use it but uh you know this old hay wagon is actually a sears hay wagon it's a sears david bradley hay wagon not sure what the vintage of it is not sure what year it was made but um the tongue on it here the tongue is adjustable for length so you can adjust the length of the tongue and we'll probably have to tweak that a little bit when we hook it to the hay baler for the first time because we'll want to get the distance between this wagon and the hay baler perfectly so that the bale chute comes up here just above the deck here where you can pull the bales off and then stack them on the wagon so the only way really the only way i'm going to use this wagon is if i have somebody drive the tractor so that i can stay on the bale wagon and stack them so if i end up baling hay um, by myself, then I'm not going to be able to use the wagon, but it's ready for when I when I have some help But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens when we bale hay So I'm not sure if Rebecca is going to be available or if she's going to be working So it's and it's just one of those things I'm not sure how much help I'm going to have when I bale hay and and all in all honesty I'm prepared to be able to do all this by myself. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens but anyway, I think that's it for this video, guys. I'm glad to get the least the hay wagon done and working order and ready to go. So um, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.